Hello guys. <clears throat> Here we go with you versus them. I saw that seven of swords under the bottom of the deck. Aquarius energy. Thief in the night. Cheater. Whew. And then as I was shuffling the deck for them over there, um, the Ace of Cups fell out, but when I picked it up, it was in reverse. So I don't know what's going on with um, your person, but I don't think that, you know, you guys think very highly of them at the moment. Let's see how you feel about this person before. Five of Wands. Always something. Always an argument. Always like going against the grain. Um, not getting along. Just discord, you know between the two of you maybe you guys always felt like you were competing with other people for this person's attention <clears throat> leo energy Let's see this person and then that ace of cups comes up in the upright because i flipped it back around because y'all already know i don't really do reversals unless they just are in my face okay um this person definitely felt like there was a one-sided love here but i don't know whether they felt like you know they loved you and you didn't really love them or vice versa this is not the two of cups so i'm definitely getting that um you know there's this feeling of unrequited love between the two of you whether you feel that way or the other person feels this way. Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. <clears throat> What's currently happening for Virgos? Six of Pentacles. I feel that you guys are still kind of wanting like, you know, the attention from this person, some recognition from this person and wanting to be with this person. I do feel um, you do seek reciprocity. You do want to feel like you know you're being recognized for your efforts and you want this person to you know give you what you give them that's Taurus energy there it's currently going on for them two of wands sitting on the fence not doing anything um, hmm. I do feel like there's this selfish energy coming from this person this is Aries energy with the two of wands but um, this is feeling like your hands are tied, not deciding to do anything one way or the other. I do feel like this person is very complacent um, and they do like attention. But reciprocity, uh, not so much. Okay. Just keeping it real, folks. Okay. What's influencing the situation with Virgo? What's influencing the situation with Virgos? Six of Swords, you want to work things out. You definitely want to work things out here with the Six of Swords. Mm -hmm. You want to get things, you know, back in balance because things are really off right now. Things are terribly off right now as far as communication, as far as, um, you know, how comfortable or secure you guys feel in this connection with this person. Again, um, this is the Aquarius energy. What's influencing the situation with this other person? The Four of Pentacles. This this is a stubborn person. And I do feel like, you know, they are they are not wanting to share um, of themselves here. There may be a situation where they feel like you know right now they're not in the best of situations financially um, their home life is is just not what they would like for it to be this person is comfortable doing exactly what they're doing and that's not making a move one way or the other they're not extending themselves to you but they're also not removing themselves they're still stuck they're still holding on to whatever is going on between the two of you but not doing any much of anything to try to like make it better okay <clears throat> 
What's coming in for Virgos? That's Capricorn energy. What's coming in for Virgos? Seven of Wands. All right, now. You know, this is you, like, standing up for what you believe. Doing what's right for you. Sevens are all about yourself. Having a self-interest, okay? Um, I do get that you guys are hurt. The Six of Swords is always, you know, feelings of hurt. But, you know, ready to put the past in the past and let bygones be bygones. Or even talking through situations so you can move forward. And I definitely see you guys doing that with the Seven of Wands. Just kind of blocking out negative energy so you can move forward. Whether or not this person gives you what you need as far as communication or anything else. Here. Again, Leo energy is here. You guys may be, um, some of you, uh, on the cusp of Leo and Virgo. What's coming in for the other person? The Hierophant. Taurus energy. I feel like this person wants you to conform. They want you to do what um, they want you to do. It's a thing here. Both of you are kind of like standing by your own um, ideas of what you feel like you want. Okay? And you're butting heads, in essence, even if you're not speaking to this person. Because when you have your own ideas that you are, like, really driving home, and you're not really communicating here and talking things through, you just, you know, you're on your own separate sides of the fence. So... I definitely get that this person is like, with the Hierophant energy, this is like, um, you know, just kind of saying, you know, what I say goes and, and, you know, putting their beliefs onto you or putting a certain standard that they want from you, like right here and not budging from that. Okay, so whatever that means for you guys, this person may be telling you that, you know what, I'm not doing anything else. You haven't married me. I mean, you know, whatever the situation is for you guys here. <clears throat> what is the outcome for my Virgos this week? King of Swords. Yeah, you guys are growing not cold, but um, you're learning not to wear your heart on your sleeve so much. Just showing indifference, basically. Venturing out and doing other things that interest you. Um, being in more control of yourselves and, and how you speak and how you react to people. I feel like nowadays if you were like rushing to react, I think you're more like just responding, you know, like not really letting this person know that they um, are, are really bothering you or phasing you at this point. This is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy there. Strong Aquarius, I feel in your reading. Leo is here. Taurus is here. Could be Aries, Taurus, um, and also Capricorn energy. <clears throat> Strong for you guys. What's the outcome for them? Three of Wands. This person is still looking for you to conform, basically. They feel like they deserve that. They deserve for you to basically do what they want you to do because, you know, their way is the best way. All right. Again, Aries energy there. And there's still conflict that he has here. Two and three is five. All right, guys. So that's what I have for you. And I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye.